What up, y'all? It's your man, Apple American. I'm uh, I'm at work. That's why I got this covering up my logo at work. I'm not acting like my my company represents my views or my views represent my company. So, you know, I'll leave them out of this. Um, <clears throat> get spot in the shade. You know, I like my brown color. You know, it's kind of warm out here. Anyway, um, this to the ladies, and this is something I want you to think about. If, especially if you're a single mother because I was just in like we'll call it parlaying with a with a single mother I actually had a relationship with her in the past and um, uh, <clears throat> This is also something for you guys to think about who are considering single mothers uh, I advise against it and this is basically the conversation her and I had All right, so let's get together. This was the whole concept that we were talking about getting together and uh, She was gonna bring her her child her son and um, I wasn't really opposed to uh, the concept of her bringing in her son, but I said, you know, you or his father have to support him financially in terms of his clothing and his food. I'm like, okay, rent, I'm not going to ask you to spend rent or whatever else, but the simple fact of the matter is, one of you two need to come up for that boy's costs. And she said, no. Even though she's currently taking care of him by himself, by herself, you know, she's taking care of the boy. Uh, apparently working multiple jobs in order to do it which is a, a shame because the child has a father and um, um, she said no you know I won't do it um, now this brought me to the next point which is women when you go into a relationship don't expect a man to take care of your child from another man because that's a, that's your job and that's his father's job think about what's being said here when you say you want the new man to take care of your child from another man, even though it's cook holding, you're saying basically, <clears throat> I don't want to take care of my kid and his father doesn't want to take care of the kid. So his, his, his actual biological parents don't want to take care of the child, but you expect some other man to. I'm not going to take care of the kid. Dad's not going to take care of the kid. You're going to take care of the kid. It's horrible. You know, if you think like this, you're a horrible person. You're not only a horrible person, you're a horrible parent. And I feel sorry for your child. Really think about what you're saying when you say, we're a package deal. Okay, you're a package deal. Sure. You, the kid, you know, not, don't, you're not going to put him in an orphanage. But don't expect the new man to financially take on the responsibility of his father and his mother. You two were irresponsible. And therefore, your child is now kind of like in a bad position that you two put him in. And now you're asking a third person to come and bail you guys out. While you both just, it's, it's the classic welfare state mentality. And it's only women ask. You know, it's women who voted in the welfare state, and it's women who are expecting men to pick up this, this, this damaged relationship and problem. And the child isn't the problem. The problem is the mother and the father. The father should be taking care of that child financially, whatever his needs are. And if he has a problem with taking care of the child that lives in the house of another man, then you need to come to an arrangement to where the child goes to the father. Then you start with your life, you go see your son, whatever else, and you have your new relationship with your new man. Make sure you choose better this time so you don't have a kid with a bum. You can't blame that guy. You opened your legs to him. But you cannot, under any circumstances, expect some guy to come along and just start taking care of the kid for you. His dad won't do it. Why should another guy do it? You don't want to do it. You do it because you have to. And this was the entire conversation I was having with this woman. You're doing it because you have to right now. But the first chance you get to get a guy who has the money to take care of you and your son, you're not going to do it anymore. You're going to refuse. That means you're only taking care of him because you have to, not because you want to. How terrible is that? How horrible is that? If you don't think your children, women, will notice this, if you don't think they're going to pick up on that passively, you're wrong. And they're going to hate you for it. They're going to despise you for it, and it'll be right. It'll be correct. That is not the new man's responsibility. You are his responsibility if you're in a traditionalist relationship. If you're in a traditional relationship, you have your duties, he has his. And you are his duty. He takes care of you. 
the care and the provisioning of you. But that child, he doesn't have a relationship with that child like he does with you. He's not, you know, banging the kid. What is that? No, it's a relationship between you and him. That child, yeah, he can come along and he can have a relationship with the new guy. You can be friends, whatever else. He can't be his dad. It's not his position. The kid has a dad. So then I went back and I said like this. I said, okay, you're not dealing from, from logic and reason. I said, so basically it's like this. You don't want to take responsibility for your child. And the dad doesn't want to take responsibility for the child. So if I take responsibility for the child, meaning economic, you know, care and upbringing and whatnot, then that means when it comes down to teaching religion, morals, virtues, values, you have no say. You nor the father. If I want to whip his butt because he's a little jerk, you and the father have no say because the child is my responsibility. No. What? So you don't want to take care of the kid. You don't want... The dad doesn't want to take care of the kid. But you both want to try and have a say in how the kid is raised. Despite not raising the kid nor doing anything to take care of the kid. I'm telling you, women, they want it all. And you got to stop with this entitled mentality and, and attitude. It's not... It's not good. It's, it's horrible. You're horrible parents. You're horrible human beings. You're terrible. This goes... See, this is just a reaffirmation, uh, a reaffirmation and a confirmation that single mothers are probably the worst people on the planet. Worse than serial killers because y'all create serial killers. Because when we look at all of the school shootings, I think they said something out of like 26 or 27 school shootings, 26 of them are accounted for by, uh, by, by boys that were raised by single mothers. You know... This is because of this mentality and they realize they're not loved. They realize they're not, they're, they're just a burden and nobody wants them. And then they go into the world with this mentality and then they find out, you know what, it's like sort of self-affirming and they don't find a woman that wants them because he has that mentality and that whole energy about himself. And then what, what's left to a person like that other than to go shoot up and make the rest of the world miserable? guys I'm not a fan of single mothers but there's so many of them nowadays you know you should be able to negotiate a polygamous or polygynous contract with them and if you do then if you're a guy who doesn't see a problem with single mothers then what you need to do is you need to negotiate two things polygyny and two that the care and maintenance of those children is not something that you can take on because if she's not going to do it and the father's not going to do it they're orphans if you really think about it, if the mother doesn't want to take care of the kid, but she does because she has to, and the father doesn't want to take care of the kid at all, he's just, he's absent, those are abandoned children. They're wards of the state because usually it's the state that's taking charge over the financial upkeep of those children. That means they're, they're, they're orphans. And if the mother is working, like in this particular case, she had two jobs, then the kid is a burden. And she's looking at any cost to relieve herself of that burden. She wants the kid, but she doesn't want the burden that comes with it. And believe it or not, we love them, but children's are, they, they are, they're financial burdens. And it's a heavy burden, and it's a long one. It lasts for years, decades. So think about this, you ladies and you men. Anyway, agree, disagree, drop it in the comment center section, let me know. This is your man, Abu American. Catch me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Steam it all at Abu American. I'm out.